Now you see here the mast cell can produce interleukin-4 that can come back and stimulate the B cells, which then will produce more IgE, which makes this mast cell potentially more aggressive. So that's why people get mast cell activation. This could be a reason. There's a loop here, a vicious cycle. You see the interleukin-4 come from both mast cells and the Th2 cells. They can both stimulate the B cells to make more IgE, which stimulate more mast cell. Now here, the T helper 2 cells, in addition to stimulating B cells, it can also stimulate this eosinophil. This is another type of white blood cell that are there to deal with allergies and parasites. Now you can actually see eosinophil on your blood test. This is on your standard CBC complete blood count panel. Now what happens when it gets stimulated by interleukin-5, then eosinophil will start to proliferate. You'll make more eosinophils because your body's trying to fight an allergen, right? You need more soldier to fight the allergen. At the same token, mast cells can also produce interleukin-5. So it's coming from two different directions to really stimulate that eosinophil. So when you have allergies, we'll see eosinophil number go up on your CBC blood test.